Mimasio. Hello everyone. Namaste. I'm Navin from India. Kimchi, the cultural past, present and future of Korea. Kimchi also means relationship. It means bond. Kimchi mobilizes the whole Korea in the month of November everywhere. Do you know what they do? They make kimchi. Friends, families, everybody comes together, kids, they make kimchi. So it's kind of celebration, it's kind of time for festival. Kimjang. It gives a breathing time, a relaxing time, a festive time to all the very hardworking Korean people. Kimchi, once it is made, is the result of fermentation. As we know that fermentation changes chemistry of the product, so the taste of kimchi. Kimchi flows very well with time. Today we can prepare kimchi and eat tomorrow. Or the same kimchi we can eat after one year. If it is preserved well, the taste is going to be more deep and better. Today we are going to share with you the recipe of one of the foods that is made with kimchi. Rather, more deeply fermented kimchi. Kimchi chim. Kimchi chim. If we understand this chim word, we can get the recipe, the cooking crux of today's dish very quickly, very easily. Chim means braised food, braised. Kimchi with other ingredients are heated slowly with oil and moisture. Kimchi chim has many varieties and it depends on the meat that we use. Make it with pork, we can try to make it with chicken also. Today what we are going to use is fish. Godungo, mackerel. If you prepare and focus on the recipe very well, the rest of the things cooking is very very easy and simple. The first one is kimchi. So this kimchi is called pogi kimchi. Pogi means when we make the kimchi, you can see the shape. It is not the chopped kimchi. What we see in the restaurant is after cutting, we eat that one. And this is just the cabbage we put for fermentation. The most important thing for choosing kimchi is the fermentation time. So kimchi, it is called shin, shin kimchi. So shin, shin kimchi meaning uh, it should be sour. If we use more fermented kimchi, it is going to be more deep in taste. That is what today's dish is all about. Godungo, mackerel. So if you are brave enough, you can buy mackerel from the market and dress it, chop it and prepare for the cooking. But for the lazy people like me, Korea has options. It is called thong jorim, meaning the fish is already well prepared. It is well dressed, well sliced. We have to just use it. One of the most important ingredient is called dhenjang, soybean paste. It is soybean paste. It is made by boiling fermented soybeans. It makes the food tasty and more importantly, it increases the immune system. These days we need it a lot. Don't you think so? So do remember soybean paste. We have to use ground garlic, ginger, sengang. It has the same function of uh, soybean paste and garlic. So this one is coarse red chili powder so we don't need to worry about coarse or fine whatever we have at home we can use that important is the red chili powder we have to use the coarse one gives more nice appearance to the final dish spicy chili red chili we added chili so you expect it to be spicy but hold on sugar yes sugar and chili together it reminds me of a dish from India. In India, there is a place called Gujarat. So Mahatma Gandhi ji was born in that state. So their people uses sugar in their dishes and it's really tasty. So it reminds me of that. So we have to add sugar. It cuts down the smell of the fish and also kimchi sometimes have some peculiar smell. Some people may not like it, so sugar 
tones down the smell second thing if kimchi sometimes it is too much fermented so it gets more sour so it tones down the sourness ganjang soy sauce don't forget it is very important sesame oil we have to use onion so we are using spring onion we are using the normal onion and also we have to use some spicy green chili we also have to use some water in this can there is already water but some people may not like that water so we have to cut the onions and chili so while cutting the onion we will make a cut like this then chop it So the next step is to add them all and mix it. So here we go. So next one is red chili powder. As we can see, it is quite coarse in shape. Whatever we have at home, we can use it. Shape doesn't matter. You can see the godungu mackerel fish so it's already boiled what we have the can so it's already well layered we have to just put it and let the kimchi go inside deep kimchi so we will put the kimchi first so before putting we have to cut from here we just cut it so after cutting we can see each one we can see the each one So this is kimchi water. So in the kimchi we have already some settled water. So we have to add. Before starting cooking, we have to put on a low to medium flame because the whole idea of getting the kimchi's flavor into the fish is to use the medium flame. You may be surprised that we did not use salt. So one thing we would like to tell you that kimchi has already salt. Chim means steam. So as we can see, the whole food is being cooked with the use of steam, braised. Kimchi Chim. 
we have to eat it with rice thank you for watching and i hope you like the recipe let me know in the comment annyeonghaseyo kamsamida dhanyawad namaste